all of our contacts are on our phones. That's our life. This is important stuff. I want you to see how with an iPhone, you can see your contacts either on your phone or on the computer. That means if you lose your phone, you haven't lost your contacts. And even how to back them up to another file or print them out. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour. Here is my iPhone, and odds are that you get to your contacts by going to the phone app, and then you tap on contacts. And, and that's fine, but I just want you to know that this is actually taking you to a different app called contacts. And if you don't see it right on your screen, you can search for it by swiping down from the middle of your screen and searching for contacts. It gets you basically to the same place. I want to now add a contact and show you how you can work with it on the computer. So I'm going to tap on plus. I want this to be Anne Marie and last name Adams. And I'm just going to add a phone number and done. So we can see that Anne Marie Adams is now in my contacts. Now, how would you see that on the computer? This is Apple, as I say. So if you're all in the Apple world, you're probably using iCloud. So on your computer, you would go to iCloud.com. And you need to know your Apple ID, username, and password. That's my ID. I can continue with password and go. Now, the first time, this is going to require a code from another device. It, it came on my phone, but I also want you to see that it could be on my watch as well. So I can find, it says, Apple has requested that to let me in, and I'll say allow, and there is the code that I need to put in, 013497. If you click on trust, that means you will not be asked for that verification code the next time you sign in on this computer. That sounds nice, doesn't it? I'm going to say trust. Nobody else ever sits at my computer. So now we are at iCloud.com, signed in as me, and I can look at my contacts. And there is Anne Marie Adams. I can also add contacts from this screen. I click the plus over here on the right and create new contact. I'll make this Andy Adams. Add a phone and done. Notice that I have a couple of D's here. I can select one and I can shift click and select another one and then delete contacts and delete. Now when I go back to the phone, we should see both the new one that I added, the Andy Adams, and that there are no D's. Back to the phone and contacts. So there is Andy Adams that we added using the computer. And there are no Ds, no delete me's, because we deleted them from the computer. Now, if yours did not work this way, here's the settings to check. First of all, you need to check your iCloud settings and that contacts are using iCloud. So it's right here where your iCloud settings are. And then scroll down and show all. And it's this right here, contacts. That must be turned on. But then there's even more. You might have more than one account holding your contacts. And this can get to be very messy, but let me just show you where it is. All the way out at the main screen of settings, you scroll down until you see contacts and then accounts. So notice I even have four different accounts here. So I was only looking at my iCloud accounts, but there are others. You need to just 
be aware and see what you have in here for your accounts. And lastly, I want to show you how you can print out a list of all your contacts. Now this, you need to be on the computer. So I'm going to select one and then Control A or Command A on a Mac to select all of them. Then you click the share, the square with the up arrow and print contacts. Pretty easy. And you could save it as a PDF. You can also share and export. So this is how you can have a file that could be imported to another account, to another phone, if you ever need to. So export to vCard or print them. Contacts are precious. You need to make sure that they are backed up to the cloud and then one other way.